Hello students, welcome to our video in Machine Tools and Machining. This is an undergraduate course at Mechanical Engineering Department of Indian Institute of Technology. This course is parallelly taught by four teachers, Professor P. P. Pondabhadhar, Professor Somitra Paul, Professor Sankhode, and myself. This video uh, consists of an online test question and solutions and set one. Question one. An engineering alloy is orthogonally turned in lead. The uncut chip thickness is 0.2 mm, where width of the cut is 3 mm. The specific cutting energy of the concerned alloy is 2.8 joule per mm cube. What is the expected value of main cutting force Pz? So now we can write Pz is specific cutting energy times feed times depth of cut that is specific cutting energy times P times depth of cut this part can be replaced with A1 times B now we have the value of the specific cutting energy 2.8 so we write 2.8 we multiply with A1 times B which is 0.2 times 3.0 now the question is where does this 10 to the power 3 comes now when you multiply them you will not get the result in Newton, rather you will get Joule per millimeter. At that moment you have to multiply it further with 1000 to get it in Newton. So that gives 1680 Newton. Coming to the next question. Two components of forces in the machine longitudinal direction and machine transverse direction are as follows. So Px in the longitudinal direction, Py in the transverse direction. The set feed is 0.1 mm per revolution and depth of cut is 2 mm. If the chip thickness is 0.2 mm, then calculate the value of the chip reduction coefficient. So we know Px and Py, so we can find phi. So Px upon Py equals to 10 of phi that gives 1.73 and phi becomes 60 degrees. Now once we know phi, we know that chip reduction coefficient is A2 over A1. A1 is S sine phi. Now if we put those values, we get zeta chip reduction coefficient is 2.3. So the next question. In the merchant circle diagram for the orthogonal machining of an unknown workpiece material, it is observed that the shear force Ps is equal to the normal force Pn. The shear angle is 21 degree, whereas friction angle is 24 degree. What is the value of orthogonal rake angle of the cutting tool employed for the above machining process? Now what is given? Beta is given and eta is given. That is the shear angle and the friction angle. And if we sum up them, immediately we find 45 degrees. Let's keep this aside. From Marchand circle diagram, for any type of work material, we know this relation is true. When Ps is the shear force, Pn is the normal to the shear force. But in the question it is mentioned that the shear force and the normal to the shear force, they two are equal. So if they are equal, that means this is 1. So 1 means it is 1045. That means if the sum of eta plus beta is 45, even the total sum or the total expression is giving 45 degrees, gamma has to be 0. So exactly what we get is the orthogonal rake angle is 0. Now coming to the next question. During orthogonal machining of a brittle material, the shear angle is 32 degrees. Whereas the friction angle is 26 degrees. That means beta and eta. So beta and eta. What is the relation between the main cutting force Pz and M? So what is given? Beta and eta are given. 
for a brittle material we know 2 beta plus beta minus gamma is 90 degrees. Now in this case if beta twice of beta plus eta minus gamma if you get the values from here 22 and 26 degrees what you are left out with gamma equals to 0 degree. If gamma equals to 0 degree pz has to be parallel and magnitude would be equal to the normal force. That means using the Marshall circle diagram pz is equal to the normal force. Thank you for watching our video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.